It was an emotional moment for Zakia Zarifi and her family today. Super duper happy and sad at the uh, same time uh, because I have my parents back home. It was a really hard decision to make. Her daughter Marjan Zarifi couldn't believe it was happening. I'm very happy, very relieved. I'm still shocked that she's here. Um, but when I see her, I feel like everything just is going to be okay. Zarifi wanted to stay anonymous until she arrived in Canada for the safety of her family. She was stranded in Afghanistan for weeks after she went to visit her ill parents in August. When the Taliban rapidly took over, she was one of thousands of people who were trying to flee the country. It was really, really hard. I went to the airport, uh, the first checkpoint, the Taliban. Um, it was brutal. They were firing, they were beating people with the belt. This was the second time that I went to the Abbey Gate. But you have to cross. So there was a sewer from like the toilets that comes. After every one of her attempts failed, she got frustrated with the Canadian government and gave up hope. But then a couple of days ago, Global Affairs called her with instructions to get her to Qatar and then bring her home. Thank you, Trudeau, for not leaving us behind. And... Uh, taken care of us. But it was a bittersweet reunion for their family because Zarifi had to leave her parents behind. Her sister's husband is also stranded in Afghanistan. He's a permanent resident in Canada and he's still waiting for a way out. He didn't get uh, like a call or email from the global affair so I'm really really like upset and worried about my parents and my husband out there. Marjan is happy that her mom is home but still frustrated with the Canadian government. There's just so much apathy with what's going on. Again, they care so much about elections but when the question of Afghanistan is brought up, they, it's just brushed off. Zarifi and her family are applying for super visas to try and get her parents out. Manisa Danabalan, CHCH News.